We got a cover. Wells gets the shoulder up. All four women now in the ring. Need to get people out. Wells now with a drop kick right to the knee of Emma Fox. Dropping her face down to the canvas. But Fox stays resilient with a counter. But again, Fox gets shoved. Pump handle again. Super again that pump handle face buster. We got a cover. And Wells, holy hell. Wells lighting her up with that pump handle face buster and gets the pinfall victory. Shocking Emma Fox. Wow. I don't know if that was desperation. I don't know if that was instinct. But right here, folks, look at this phenomenal move. Boom, planting her down. But vicious and delicious. Walk away. The Tag Team Champions, Victorious and Island Saturday Night Showdown. Here's the brutal onslaught of kicks by Brittany Brooks. But vicious and delicious, Victorious. What a win for the women's Tag Team Champions. What a win for those ladies tonight. Again, Brittany Brooks and Emma Fox, Team Hotness, are outstanding in their in-ring performance, folks. You saw how close they came to, to getting a victory over the women's champion. That was outstanding. They continue to impress week in and week out here in XFW. Well, up next, next folks, we've got our main event of the evening. The Destroyer going one-on-one -on -one with Ramon Cruz. Now the Destroyer, the newly crowned XFW World Heavyweight Champion, defended the championship last night on XFW Danger Zone. Now a lot of folks think he's already trying to spread himself a little bit too thin, taking match after match after match. But if you followed XFW, you know this is how the Destroyer handles business. He is one of the most professional uh, people I have ever met in wrestling. He is both feared and respected by the locker room, except for people like Brian Blaze who have no respect for anybody. But the Destroyer is all about the in-ring competition. He feels there's a code of honor to wrestling. He feels if he's the champion, he needs to be in there as often as he can. In-ring competition, defending the championship all the time. Now again, this is how he sustained a knee injury many, many years ago. He continued to wrestle night in and night out when he had the championship. And then at the time, Captain Jack, who retired in 2019, went on an all-out assault on the Destroyer and kept attacking the knee. The Destroyer had to take a couple of months off for have uh, knee surgery, and you see that's why he wears uh, the, the knee brace or what some ref ref wrestlers affectionately call the suplex handle on his knee. But again, the Destroyer getting back into his old habits. Now he's got the championship around his waist for a fifth time, wrestling as often as he can to prove he deserves that championship. But tonight, he goes up against Ramon Cruz, a man that has slowly been building momentum here in XFW, knocking off opponent after opponent, and he says this is getting himself away from the shadow that was the Alliance and Brian Blaze. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event next, XFW Saturday Night Showdown. And here comes Ramon Cruz. Ramon Cruz, a former two-time United States champion. Now looking to get himself aligned up with the World Heavyweight Championship opportunity. Tonight gets to go one-on-one -on -one with the Destroyer. Any type of victory in this match, pinfall, submission, or countout, will line up Ramon Cruz for a number one contendership spot, an opportunity to challenge the Destroyer for the championship. Cruz and the Destroyer are no strangers to each other. They have fought in the past. Both have victories over one another. But as of late, the Destroyer seems more focused than he ever has been before. 